Quo, but McCain will take to the stage tonight and deliver his message to voters. So let's get right to Representative Christopher Shays, a John McCain supporter, congressman from Connecticut, and in a tough fight up there as the party moves to the right. You're in liberal New England. How does Sarah Palin play in Well, first off, she wasn't an attack dog. She was truly defending herself and comparing herself fairly with her critics, and she came out on top. And uh, what you're seeing is John McCain choosing the person he's most simpatico with, a real change agent. She's proved it. She's taken on a powerful senator, a powerful congressman, defeated a Republican governor. Um, you know, some people in this crowd want a pale and McCain ticket. Well, in fact, would you have been better off without Sarah Palin oh, in no. retrospect, Mitt Romney from Absolutely Jason, Massachusetts? No, no. The key for me was making sure that John McCain was the candidate. I'm not even sure I would have run again if it wasn't. He is a really? true taint changer. You, the veteran congressman. Absolutely. You know, I wanted someone I could really be excited about. I wanted someone who would change this place. John McCain does what Barack Obama says we should do. Now, you, in fact, have a, have a campaign commercial, which is unusual for a Republican. I think to we've have got a campaign commercial? No, no, not to have a campaign commercial, but let me show you the campaign commercial. I love you, it. You have already Will you seen. show the whole thing? Oh, let's see how much we can show. The hopefulness of Obama, the straight talk of McCain, it's what Christopher Shays has always stood for. He goes where the truth takes him, never afraid to take a stand or oppose his own party. In a sea of partisanship, Shays is different. It's not what is Republican or Democrat. It's what is right for America. Everybody. Played the whole thing. You're piggybacking on Barack Obama. You're a Republican member of Congress. You know what, what up? You know, what I'm doing is I'm making it very clear that I work with both parties. I always have. He's got hope, McCain's got straight talk, but McCain has something else. It's not just talk, he lives it, he's got a record, and uh, Barack Obama has no record. None. Zero. Zip. What about what he did with Dick Luger on nonproliferation, working together on so, that legislation? So we're talking about a, a year and a half of working with one piece of legislation. That's it. How do you feel about Sarah Palin's attack on the media elites and the clear strategy from the top something? level of the McCain campaign? I'm not being defensive about this. I it's, loved it. I how loved does that it. play in Connecticut? I loved it. Kent and all you know, those because it's places. True. The reason I came here, I wasn't even going to come here. I saw all these attacks. They didn't say the same things to Barack Obama. They didn't question his record. They didn't talk about what he's done. I wanted to be here. He'd been vetted for 20 months, yeah, no, no, no. He, he, he been primaries a, and debates. And but nobody ever questioned it. They know, so, but if, if you're going to talk about Sarah, you've got to talk about Barack Obama the same way. And when you compare her record, so he was a community organizer, she was a mayor. He runs a, a, an office of C2 employees and a budget of $4 million. She runs a state of 15,000 employees and $11 billion. I'm happy to compare that. That's not being an attack dog. That's being very fair. And what I notice about the Democrats is any time their record is questioned, they say it's an attack, and yet they question the record of someone else, they don't call it an attack. Final question, the issue of choice among women in your district. How does that play? With but, well, she's not in sync team. with that. But she is a woman running. And, you know, not all women are pro-choice. That shows, in my judgment, a real uh, outcome. It's a woman that should be selected, not a particular kind of woman. And she thinks you think that she on the ticket will help you in your race? I think she's awesome. Awesome. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks. The awesome son uh, Congressman, excuse me, I just bumped you into that other body. <laughs> the for shades. And tonight when Senator John McCain takes the stage officially to accept